Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny 2 video for you. So today, IGN released a video on their IGN First series for Destiny 2, which is going to be for the month of July, and this one was focused on Bungie's vision for the sequel for Destiny. Now in this video, they talk about a lot of cool key facts and a lot of things we already knew about as in the focus on the storytelling this time around in Destiny 2 needs to be much better than it was in Destiny. They also talk about their decision on taking all the grimoire and putting it in the game for all the players to be able to find and experience through the lost sectors, you know, treasure maps and um, stuff like that that's gonna be in the game for a way to really flesh out the story without us having to go to a third party website, you know, to get that same information. They also stressed about how important it is in a sequel to not only bring in returning players from the original game, but to also find new outlets and new people to jump in and play Destiny. They want to make this as user friendly of an experience, not only for people who are veterans of the original Destiny, but for brand new players to the series alike. Now, one key thing that they brought up that really jumped me out of my seat is this following statement from Luke Smith. And if you don't know, Luke Smith is the lead behind Destiny 2. He is the man when it comes to information. So this is straight out of his mouth, and I wanted you guys to hear it first. The difficulty, certainly at the pinnacle level of the game, we've tried to make a much tougher game that if you think of your weapons and items as a golf bag, we want you to look into your golf bag before you start an activity and go like, oh, what should we bring to this? Um, because for some of those activities, you're gonna be loadout locked once they start, which means you can't change. So loadout locked activities, that is very interesting. One thing that I've always liked is be able to have an app opened up on my computer, you know, so depending on what activity I was in, in the middle of the activity, if I needed to switch to a certain weapon or a different loadout to, you know, meet that situation better, I would, and it was nice, fast, easy, and I really enjoyed it. Now, it looks like in certain activities, we don't know what activities those are gonna be, but certain ones, you ain't gonna be able to do that, people. You are gonna be stuck with your loadout that you selected at the very beginning of that activity. What does this mean? It means players are gonna have to put a little bit more thought into going into those activities as far as what weapons they want to bring as they won't be able to switch them out on the fly like we you know currently have always been able to so that is a really cool interesting aspect of this video and it was what i wanted to focus on more i want to know what are your guys's thoughts on this you know as far as having loadout locked for certain activities do you think it's going to be for the raid or PvP, you know, maybe not switching weapons around when you're doing, you know, Crucible and things like that. I'm not sure. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. That's all I really wanted to say for this video, guys. There's much more detailed information in the actual uh, IGN video. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. Highly recommend that you guys go and check it out for yourself because there is a lot of cool nuggets of information in there. This, I just wanted to focus on this one little loadout locked activities thing for this one. But by all means, go check it out for yourselves. But that's going to do it, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you support it by smacking that like button. And in the comment section below, again, I want to know what do you guys feel about this loadout locked activities in Destiny 2 that Luke Smith was talking about. But as always, Guardians, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next one.